Today's Daily Dose of Math is part four in our series of videos about the sphere and the hemisphere. In this case, I'm looking for the volume, but the situation I'm given doesn't tell me the radius or the diameter of the sphere, at least not directly. Here we have a sphere that is inscribed inside a cube. So it is fitting inside a cube just big enough for the sphere to fit. And the side length of that cube is 30 meters. So if the sphere just barely fits inside this cube, then that means the diameter of the sphere must also be 30 meters. So I need to say so. And now I need the radius, not the diameter. So radius equals diameter over two. So the radius of the sphere is 30 over two, which is 15 meters. Now I can use my volume of the sphere formula, four thirds pi r cubed is four thirds pi 15 cubed. I'll get out my calculator. 15 cubed, it's 33.75, therefore 13,500 over 3 pi, and I'll go into decimal. With a bit of rounding, I have 14,137.2 meters cubed as the volume of this sphere. Now here we have a hemisphere which is also fitting just barely inside a right prism with a square base. We have to know that the base is square and we have been told that the side length of the square is 24 centimeters. Now, I can't say this is inscribed because the top of the hemisphere isn't going up to the top of the right prism, but that doesn't matter. The, the equator of the hemisphere is just barely fitting inside the right prism, and its base is a square, so therefore, if the squares side length is 24, the diameter of the hemisphere is also 24. Now, we're doing the same process. The radius is equal to diameter over two, so the radius of this hemisphere is 24 over two, which is 12 centimeters. I'm going to go directly into the more efficient volume of a hemisphere formula which is two thirds pi r cubed. So I have two thirds pi times 12 cubed, which is two thirds pi of 1728. That equals 34.56 thirds pi, and going into decimal mode. I have 36.19.1 centimeters cubed. So this is a little bit tricky, just in the sense of how we're given the information. This formula, whether it's for the sphere or the hemisphere, is so simple because the only unknown when you're looking for the volume, the only dimension you need is the radius. So how do we make this a challenging question for students? We find weird ways to give them the radius in an indirect way, but if you understand your geometry of solids, if you understand the concept of radius and diameter, 
if you know how to use the formula and adjust the formula when you have a hemisphere, it's still not a very difficult question. At least I hope not. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.